Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can go from ordinary numbers to numbers in scientific notation. So how do you go from a one, a number in standards, a standard number or standard form into scientific notation form? It's really easy, so if you uh, keep watching, you'll learn something. Uh, it, before I get into this, um, make sure you uh, like the video, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and help me out. And so with that out of the way, let's get into this. All right, so first thing is you need to know how to go from uh, uh, ordinary numbers to scientific notation. Um, it's all a matter of moving the decimal point. And so the way you're going to do this uh, for these numbers here, uh, if we start with number A, uh, no, the, they don't usually don't have the decimal point written down, but if there's no decimal point, then it's assumed to be at the end here. And so for scientific notation, what you need is uh, you need one number that falls between one and one and ten it's got to be less than ten but it's got to be more than uh or at least one so the form of scientific notation let me use a different color the form of scientific notation is c is your first number and that number is then multiplied by factors of ten so we'll say uh, I'll put little n there. n is your exponent. So we need a number. This number has to be either equal to or greater than 1, right? So C is going to be in the middle. So C is either greater than or equal to 1, um, but it's got to be less than 10. Okay, so that's C. And then it's multiplied by some factor of 10. And where we get this number N is based on how many times we move the decimal point. So <clears throat> keep in mind, the thing I want you to remember is large numbers have positive, uh, positive exponents. N is going to be positive for large numbers. That, and what I mean by large numbers are numbers greater than 1. Right. Um, so numbers greater than one, numbers greater than probably about 10 or more. That's going to have a positive, uh, positive exponent. If you've got numbers less than one, those are going to have negative exponents. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. So small numbers, numbers less than one, negative exponent. Uh, large numbers, numbers that are going to be greater than 10, 10 or greater. That's going to have a positive exponent. So keep that in mind. So how do we do this? So our, exp our decimal point is there. We want to move the decimal point until we have a number that's between 1 and 10. Right? So right now we got a number that's 5 million. Um, that's, not, not, that's not between 1 and 10. So we got to move the decimal point until we have the decimal point all the way to the right of your last or your first number, which is the five here. So we're going to move the decimal point over one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want the decimal point to the right of your first number. So we only want one number there. So once we move that over, now we count the number of ways, the number of times we moved it over. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we moved it over six times. That means that our exponent is going to be a six. It's going to be a positive six. Why? Because we have a large number. Also, we moved it over to the left, right? So, um, but you don't have to remember left, right. You just remember what number do we have? It's a big number, large number. So, since we have a large number, we're going to have a positive exponent. What's our exponent? 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, that means I move the decimal point over here. It's going to be 5. And then times 10. 
and then we moved over six times, so that's going to be a positive six. So this would be the number in scientific notation. What about B? So here, same thing. We have our decimal point. We're going to move the decimal point over until we only have a number C between 1 and 10. Basically, again, we're going to move the decimal all the way to the right of the 5. And we're going to stop there. If we stop here, we'll have 50. That's too big. If we, if we go too far on this side, that's 0.5. That's too small. So always to the right of the first digit. So we're going to move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Decimal point is there. We moved over 7 times. So our number is now 5. 5 times 10. The other part is times 10. What's our exponent? We moved it over seven times. So it's a positive seven. Seven because we moved it over seven times. Positive because we got a large number. We started with a large number. Okay, so this is the scientific notation for that number. All right, we have one number left. So here, we're starting with a very, very small number. This number is less than 1, right? So our exponent is going to be negative. Small numbers, numbers less than 1, negative exponent. Numbers that are really large, bigger than 10, 10 or larger, that's going to have a positive exponent. So this time, we're going to move our decimal point. Again, we want our decimal point to the right of the number here so here the first number we get to we want the decimal point the decimal point to the right of that number so we're going to move our decimal point over one two three four five put our decimal point there now we have five again right because our decimal point is there we got five so that's going to be five times ten and then since we moved it over, one, two, three, four, five, that means we're gonna our exponent is gonna be a five. However, because this is a small number that we're dealing with, that's gonna be negative. So easy way to remember this: small number, number less than ten, or sorry, number less than one is going to be a negative exponent. Numbers that are large, bigger than 10, 10 or larger, that's going to have a positive exponent. And then the number of times you move the decimal point is the, is the exponent number. So if you move it over five times, it's a five. If it's a small number, it's a negative five. If it's a large number, positive five. So that helps uh, keep, things, keep things straight. You don't have to worry about, do, do I move it left? Do I move it right? It all depends, and it gets confusing. So, only, so the only thing you need to remember is large numbers, positive exponent, small numbers, negative exponent. And so that's how you convert your normal standard numbers into scientific notation. Again, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the like button, put a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, Please uh, subscribe to my videos, subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for joining me and have a great day.